What is up guys, Nairus here from the A-Team. Today we are here at the Hurlbut Visuals Clubhouse and we're gonna be going over foggers, hazers, and how you can use both of them in your next shoot. So today we're here on set with my friend Justin Jones. Justin Jones is a cinematographer who shot for Zane, Trippy Red, Diplo. Justin, talk to us about haze and fog and what the difference between the two of them is. Sure. So haze, I usually use just to soften up the image. It also helps you kind of see where your sources are coming from. Haze is more for narrative stuff, more for beauty stuff. Fog, on the other hand, is more for effect lighting. For me, it's used more in music videos. Awesome, let's go check out some of your setups and how you lit them. We are here on set now. Justin, talk to us about our lighting setup. Cool, so for this scene, what we had is kind of a dining room. For that scene, it's a little more romantic, a little more dark. What we first did was turned on a practical, kind of in the mid background, and then we dimmed that down just to kind of give it a little moody feeling. Second thing we did is we put a 120D with a light dome outside, backed that off, kind of lowered the intensity a little bit, kind of give us like that soft moonlight effect. The third thing we did is we put a mini 20 in the kitchen just to give her a little bit of a hair light. We dimmed it like all the way down just to give it that little bit of an edge to separate her from the background. Third thing we did was we put another moonlight source deep in the background. And what that did was just kind of continue that moonlight that we're seeing in the foreground, just to kind of keep that continuity going. And then we added a 300D overhead to light our talent, skirted it off and added the space light attachment. We then put an unbleached muslin under that and kind of diapered it off to soften it even more. So what that kind of does is it softens up our light, rolls off into our shadows and just really brings that romantic feel. And then the fifth thing we did is we added a mini 20 on the stairs just to give us a little bit more detail in that background. And the final thing we did, which is what this entire video is about, is we added haze. So a lot of people are confused about the difference between fog and haze. Haze, for example, is gonna soften up the image, kind of give you a more volumetric lighting, kind of finish and finalize the image, soften the sensor, stuff like that. Haze is thinner, kind of more see-through, transparent. Fog, on the other hand, is a more billowy effect. It stays in one area, it rises slow, it falls slow, it's thick. So if the scene called for a fire or a special effect or something that needed really thick fog, I would use the fog machine. Cool, so what are some other times that you would use a fog machine instead of a hazer? Great, so a fog machine is especially useful in music videos and stuff that requires special effects. Big, beautiful images, smoke rising, falling into frame. So don't get me wrong, hazers and fog machines are actually pretty similar. Uh, in fact, if you wanted to get the haze effect but only had a fog machine, you could just pump out the fog, waft it out, and you'd get a similar effect. Awesome, so there's the episode of 4-Minute Film School. Justin, let's recap one more time on the differences between the fog and haze. Use fog for special effects, music videos, stuff like that. Haze, narrative pieces, stuff where you want to see beams of light, volumetric lighting, or soften your sensor. If you like this episode, make sure to follow Justin Jones at Justin Jones DP. Follow Aperture on Facebook, Instagram, The Works. We want to give a huge shout out to the Hurlbut Visuals team for letting us shoot at their clubhouse. If you don't know about Shane's Inner Circle, check the description below. They have some amazing educational content. Also, leave a comment below with one educational video you'd like to see us make next. We'll be picking the best comment and giving them an Aperture M9. I'm Nurse from the A-Team. We'll catch you guys next time.